Hello everyone, my name is Edu and this is Ready Go Expat. Every year, the art newspaper publishes its annual attendance survey with the number of visitors of exhibits and museums from around the world. In April 2020, they released the results of the number of visitors from 2019, just before the pandemic. And in the video today, you're going to find out what were the most visited art museums in the world in 2019. Ready? Go! We start our list with the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., with over 4 million visitors in 2019. The National Gallery offers a collection of more than 150,000 paintings, sculpture, decorative arts, photographs, prints, and drawings about the history of Western art and showcases some of the triumphs of human creativity. Across 363 days a year, the Gallery offers a full spectrum of special exhibitions and public programs free of charge. From DC, we go to Madrid. The Reina Sofia Museum is number 9 on the list with more than 4.4 million visitors. El Reina Sofia is Spain's national museum of 20th century art. The museum was officially inaugurated on September 10, 1990 and is named after Queen Sofia. The museum is mainly dedicated to Spanish art. Highlights of the museum include excellent collection of Spain's two greatest 20th century masters, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dalí. The most famous masterpiece is the museum's Picasso's 1973 painting, Guernica. The State Hermitage Museum is located in St. Petersburg and it was founded in 1764 by Catherine the Great as a court museum. The Hermitage holdings include around 3 million items dating from the Stone Age to the present. Among them is one of the world's richest collection of Western European paintings since the Middle Ages including many masterpieces by Renaissance Italian, Baroque, Dutch, Flemish, and French painters. Russian art is also very well represented. I visited the Hermitage in 2019 and I was impressed even before walking into it. The Winter Palace is just beautiful. Actually, the whole area around the museum in the historic center of St. Petersburg. It's very important to focus on what you really want to see because it's impossible to visit all the three million items in just one day. From St. Petersburg, we arrive in London with the National Gallery with just over 6 million visitors in 2019. The collection of the National Gallery includes artwork of European origin from 1250 to 1900, with over 2,300 paintings, almost all of them on permanent display, including works by Rembrandt, Velázquez, Van Gogh and Michelangelo. It is possible to observe how visual art has evolved from the Renaissance period up until post-impressionism. Still in London, we get to number 6 on our list, with the Tate Modern, which welcomed more than 6 million visitors in 2019. The National British Museum of Modern Art, better known as the Tate Modern, houses and exhibits international works of modern art from 1900 to present day. Tate Modern is one of the most visited galleries of modern and contemporary art in the world, surpassing New York's MoMA and the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid. With 6.2 million visitors, the British Museum reclaims its title of UK's most visited museum. World-famous objects such as the Rosetta Stone, Parthenon sculptures and Egyptian mummies are visited by millions every year. In addition to the vast permanent collection, the museum's special exhibitions, displays and events are all designed to advance understanding of the collections and cultures they represent. The Metropolitan Museum of Art presents over 5,000 years of art from around the world for everyone to experience and enjoy. The museum lives in two iconic sites in New York City, the Mad Fifth Avenue and the Mad Cloisters. Millions of people also take part in the Mad experience online. It is actually celebrating 150 years in 2020. Since its founding in 1870, the Mad has always inspired to be more than a treasury of rare and beautiful objects. Every day, art comes alive in the museum's galleries and through its exhibitions and events, revealing new ideas and ex unexpected connections across time and across cultures. And now we get to Rome for our top three. With over 6 million visitors, the Vatican Museums are one of the top attractions in Rome. Established by Pope Julius II during the 16th century, it houses thousands of works of art. 
The origins of these museums go back to 1503, the year in which the recently named Pope, Julius II, donated his private collection. Since the moment, private families and other popes have enlarged the collection of the museums to the point where it has become one of the largest in the world. If you have been to Rome, then you are aware of the long lines to enter the Vatican museums. Last time I was there was in the summer of 2019, I had to wait for over an hour to get into the museum, so I highly recommend planning your visit and getting your tickets online in advance. We leave Rome and we head to the capital of China for our number two. With over 1 million pressures and rare artifacts covering Chinese history from 1.7 million years ago to the present, the National Museum of China in Beijing retains second position overall with nearly 7.4 million visitors. There are regular exhibitions and special ones. The regular and permanent ones are free for everyone who comes to visit with a valid ID or passport and you can collect your free tickets at the ticket office. By the end of 2013, the National Museum of China had more than 1 million collections and 48 exhibition halls, with many priceless collections which cannot be found anywhere else in China and the rest of the world. The Musée du Louvre in Paris once again tops this survey with overall attendance of 9.6 million people. It is the world's most visited art museum, with a collection that spans work from ancient civilizations to the mid-19th century. Without question, the Louvre's most famous work is Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Also, you can find other masterpieces like the painting Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix, which depicts the bare-breasted liberty goddess leading a charge in the French Revolution. The Louvre's permanent collection features nearly 300,000 works of art that date before 1948, and of which only 35,000 are visible to the public. Due to the sheer size of the museum, visitors will need a whole morning to get a general idea of the Louvre and see the most important paintings, sculptures and other types of art. The Louvre is so vast that one could easily spend several days exploring its exhibitions.